Hey guys, it's Stacy, and today I am here to bring you a video that I personally am very excited to film, and that is Five Reasons Why You Should Read Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I love this book. I've already read the sequel as well. I'm going to tell you five reasons why you should read this amazing book. It's a YA fantasy. It's great. Let's get into it. Reason number one is the female friendships in this book. Safi and Isolt are our main characters and they are thread sisters, they are best friends. Isolt is a thread witch and Safi is a truth witch. And so Isolt's witchery is she can see the threads that bind people and then Safi can tell if people are telling the truth or not. And it is just, they are so loyal to each other. They will do anything for each other. They love each other more than anything in the entire world, which I love because normally in YA, you see a lot of girl hate, but that's not the case in this one. They support each other 100%, even if the other one is making stupid decisions. It's amazing. They're best friends and I love that friendship in that because like that's something I can relate to because my two best friends I would do anything for and they support me no matter how many stupid decisions I make. <laughs> They're not watching this but they know what I'm talking about. But I love that so much because I love female friendships and I wish there were more female friendships in YA and this is one of the best ones ever and I just, I adored it. Reason number two you should read this book is the character development is A+. plus. Safi is one of, was one of my least favorite characters in this book. I did not like her in this book, but over the course of this book, she really grows as a person, and in Windwitch, she also grows even more, and in Windwitch, she was one of my favorite POVs in that book. So I just loved it. Each character, Isolt, Merrick, Adian, is that how you say his name? If you know, that's, I'm saying it, Adian, because that's how it popped in my head. But each of them go through an amazing transformation. Like, better for worse, their character arcs are great. I cannot wait to see more of their character arcs in the upcoming books, which Blood Witch doesn't come out until 2019, and I'm very upset about it. So, reason number three is the magic system. I know a lot of people say that this magic system is hard for them to follow. For me, it wasn't. Um, I really liked it. It is more complicated than others, but I really liked it. There's different types of witches. Thread witches, truth witches, blood witches, wind witches, all types of witches. They're called witcher- their powers are witchery, and each of them have a different one, and they all have marks on the back of their hand to determine if they're witches or not, and then some of them are trying to go unnoticed because they don't want that mark on the back of their hand because that's not a good thing. And I just, I loved, loved it so much, the magic system. It was great. I love all the witcheries. I just, I'm ready for more. I cannot wait for Blood Witch because the Blood Witch in this book is probably my favorite character. If you've read it, you know. I love it. I love him. I love him. Number four is the world building. Susan Dennard created such an amazing world and like it's a slower type world building. You really get, as the characters travel, you really get a sense of the world of different places in this world. And I thought it was amazing. It is YA fantasy, so you know, the world is different from ours, but I love the world building. Like each continent, or continent, I don't know, each each kingdom they would go to, it was just, they added more to the world, it expanded it, and this, like, this world could go so many places and become one of the greatest ever, and I'm just, like, so here for it. And reason number five is the little to no slash slow burn romance. In this first book, there's barely any romance, but the one that there is is very slow burn. It's a hate to lovers trope, so if you like that, read this and then wind witch we start to get another relationship brewing it didn't go anywhere but you can tell it's gonna happen and i'm here for it if, if you've read wind witch you know you know i fucking love this okay just the romance i was like not here for it at first i was like no i don't like that but now i'm just like i want my babies to be together and it was just whoo i love and i love the guys that the girls are gonna be in relationships with and it was just it was everything to me. Those are the, all the reasons, just five. There's many more reasons I think you should read this book, but I love it so much. And I wanted to make a whole video in it because it's my new favorite YA fantasy series. I am very attached to Isolt and Safi. So, read this. 
yes so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed and yeah i will see you guys in the video bye